Number three, letter A. At what speed would a two times 10 to the four kilogram airplane have to fly to have a momentum of 1.6 times 10 to the nine kilogram meter per second? The same as the ships above. Okay, so letter A, um, again, they're giving us, well, they're asking us for speed. They're giving us mass and momentum. Therefore, what's the equation that relates those three? It's over here on the right-hand side. And it is that the momentum is equal to the mass of the object multiplied by its velocity. So if we want to know speed, let's just solve for speed right off the bat. Divide m out of both sides. So therefore, the velocity is equal to the momentum divided by the mass. So therefore, the momentum, excuse me, therefore, the velocity of the airplane is equal to the momentum of that airplane, which what they told us was 1.6 times 10 to the 9, and then divided by the mass of that airplane, which was 2.00 times 10 to the 4th. Okay, and we just have to simply do the division here. So this works out to be 1.6 times 10 to the 9 divided by 2 times 10 to the 4, and we get a value of about 80,000, right? Or in other words, 8.00 times 10 to the 4th. Uh, Okay, and that is in terms of meters per second. All right, so uh, great, that takes care of that. And then what is letter B? What is the plane's momentum when it is taking off at a speed of 60 meters per second? Okay, so letter B now. So we're being asked for, again, momentum, and they're giving us a speed. And this time, right, we're gonna use the same mass as above. So again, momentum is equal to the mass multiplied by the velocity. The momentum uh, of takeoff here is going to be the mass of the plane, so 2.00 times 10 to the fourth, uh, multiplied then by the velocity of the plane, 60. And here the plane will then equal, what do we got? So 2 times 10 to the fourth times 60. So we have a momentum here of about 1.2, 1 1.2 1 .2 times 10 raised to the, let's count, 3, 4, 5, 6, All right, times 10 raised to the 6. And that momentum, again, is kilogram meter per second. All right, so that's the momentum there. Oops, that's the momentum of the airplane, right, when it takes off. So now letter C is saying, if the ship is an aircraft carrier uh, that launches these airplanes with a catapult, discuss the implications of your answer to B as it relates to the recoil effects uh, of the catapult on the ship. So basically, uh, momentum is conserved. So what that means is that if the momentum of the uh, airplane here, if the momentum, and let me just write a little a, if the momentum of the airplane goes from zero because it's not moving to then 60 meters per second, it will obtain a final momentum of this value we just calculated. Now that, similar to energy, that momentum has to come from somewhere. So basically the ship will lose the momentum. Okay, so the ship then loses the ship then loses, I'll write here, ship Ship loses uh, 1.2 times 10 to the 6 kilogram meter uh, per second. Oops, what's going on with the units there? Kilogram meter per second um, of momentum. But it won't make too much of a difference in terms of its overall speed because the ship is so massive. So you know, the ship should change a little speed, but not by much. Guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. Look forward to helping you in the next question. Have a great day.